Urban Therapy with Sun Sun Seven Five Two. With this your daily go get emism number five hundred and six for February twenty first, two thousand and sixteen. It's my dad's birthday today. Happy birthday, Daddy! You know what I'm saying? My father, brother Matt, turning seventy nine years old today. Peace to you. That's what I'm talking about. It's very important to have a father in your life, and uh, and it's a blessing, especially for a young man. A young black man to have a dad in his life all of his life and be there to guide him support him and everything and that kind of goes into what I want to talk about today you know not just counting your blessings but but being thankful being thankful not only for the things that you've received but thankful for the things that you've done thankful for the things that you already have thankful thankful for the things that you had even before somebody gave them to you. You know, things that you haven't been taught, but you managed to get some kind of way. But let's break it down a little bit. And uh, when you start talking about being thankful for, for, for things, you know, there are a lot of different ways you can take that because, all right, I know what it's like to not have heat in the crib. I know what that's like. It's not a good look. You know what I'm saying? So because I went through an experience like that when I was younger, I know what it's like to be thankful to just have heat in your crib. It's a big deal. Even though, even though when you come up out of the hard times with somebody and you start to experience the good times, it builds a bond with that person. It's like being in an exclusive club. You know, understanding somebody else's struggle along with them understanding yours. It's a good look. But that's another thing to be thankful for right there. Having somebody in your life that understands what you're going through, where you, where you come from, what you've been through, and what you're trying to do. You know, so many people out here are misunderstood. There's a lot of people out here that, that are misunderstood. Some of them are misunderstood because they try hard not to be understood. There are actually people out there that don't want people to get to know them too well, that don't want people to really understand them. They feel like that puts them in a vulnerable position. It puts them in a dangerous position. Personally, my feelings on that is if, is if you are a good person to know, then you won't mind people getting to know you. If the things that they get to know about you are good, why would you be afraid for people to know that? And why would you be afraid that that puts you in a vulnerable vulnerable position? I understand that some people are shy, but even shy people don't mind getting their shine on every now and then. But if you if you live in your crib, if you live in a crib that has the lights on, the water is flowing, the heat is 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 good good to go. You might even have, I don't know, cable TV and the internet. And one thing about cable TV and the internet, you can never say that your bills are bringing you down like crazy if you keep your cable and your internet on. That's just the truth. Because, that's a, because those are luxuries. They may be things that we take for granted nowadays, but they're luxuries. There's no way that could have a bearing on your ability to be comfortable in your own home. At least it shouldn't. Because you can still always pick up a book. You can. You can always pick up a book or have a conversation with somebody that lives there. But if you're going to have a conversation, a decent conversation, a healthy conversation, conversation with somebody that lives in your house, then you have to have a harmonious relationship with the person that lives in your house. And that's another thing to be thankful for. Harmonious relationships. Somebody that gets you. I'm not sure if I can impress that upon y'all enough. When somebody gets you, that's a big deal. It is. It's a real big deal. When somebody gets you. Right? Yeah, that's major right there. Very, very major. Having children, having children that are healthy, straight out of the womb. It's a hellified thing to be thankful for. It ain't have to be that way. 
there are many, many, many parents that can't say that their kids were healthy from the beginning. Their kids are special needs children, and they do have special needs. You know, they're children that are born into this world that are going to need a lifetime of, of close care. They may never be able to make it on their own. And that's not to say that that's a curse. Because it may just be a blessing to be able to be in a position to be able to take care of a special needs child. But for those who haven't gone through that experience and have had a child that is 100% healthy, coming straight out of the womb, it's a blessing. And it's something to be thankful for. See, we talk about blessings and we talk about being thankful. See, some people associate blessings with, with God, with the Creator. A lot of people don't believe in God nowadays. There are people who don't believe in organized religion, religion, but they still believe in God. So they're spiritual. It's an understandable thing. This is not about your belief system. Regardless of who you believe in, you know that there are times in your life that you need to be thankful. So that's something you can pull off without having to without having to necessarily have any spiritual guidance. But if you do have spiritual guidance in your life, that's another thing to be thankful for. To feel like regardless of who may not get you in this world, there is a creator or a force out there that does get you or allow you to be able to be able to be all right even in the face of nobody else getting you um yeah i was you know what stay on track yeah so if you have a roof overhead you have a you have a, a steady source of income you have a, a job whether it's an entry level position or whether you have moved up in the ranks and, and and your pay grade is on a higher scale. And you are making a decent living in a way to provide for your family that makes you very comfortable. You gotta be thankful for that. Ain't no other way around it. It could easily be another way. Everybody falls off at one time or 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 um, experiences a point in their lives where they spend more time wanting than being able to be able to get so once you get to the point where you're able to be able to get what you want that's something to be thankful for can't front on that right I could go on about this for days and days and days but if you if you're a healthy individual because that's where all your happiness really comes from. People don't don't like to believe that. They think that external things can make them happy, but they don't. If you are a healthy individual, mind, body, and soul, because that's what health truly is, then that's something to be thankful for. And a lot of people think that they're healthy, but they're not. You hear people say all the time things like, um, except for the fact, except for the fact um, that they're a little bit crazy, they're otherwise totally healthy. Well, there is no such thing. You can't be mentally unhealthy and be physically healthy. It's not possible. That's not what health is. Health starts here. This is messed up. This is messed up. I don't care how many muscles you have. Muscles can be manufactured. You have people who take H, H, um, HGH, which is, which is human growth hormone, and anabolic steroids all the time. So you can get your body right, but on the inside, you're dying. You see all of those professional wrestlers that don't make it to a ripe old age. They don't make it because they've been taking them steroids all their lives, and it affects their, their circulatory system and their nervous system, and they wind up dying in their 40s, 50s, early 60s. They're not healthy. You can look healthy all you want. Real health starts here. Once you start getting this right, you'll never be obese because when this is right, your body, you, you won't practice um, um, behavior that will make you obese. Starts here. 
And the way you get this right is by eating the right things. Y'all don't believe me, though. I'm going to just say this real quick. If you eat the right foods, you will discover that the right thoughts follow right after that. And after the right thoughts come, the right actions follow that. It's simple as that. You are what you eat. It's not a game. It's not a game. It's, it's not bullshit. It's true. And the only reason that you think it's not true is because you haven't found um, you haven't tried it. You haven't tried it and been consistent with it and made sure that you follow through. But because if you did, you'd be a believer. Trust and believe. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And just remember to be thankful for the good things that you have. Good health starts up here. And that's why with Urban Therapy with Sun, we say that the hood is our health. The hood is our health. That means that we are community-oriented community people and we try to improve everything in the, um, um, going on with our hood, in the hood. And the hood is anywhere that you live. Hood is only short for neighborhood. It doesn't mean ghetto. We always taking words and, and, and making them mean something messed up. Ghetto is here, but health is here. And we concentrate on health. So do it, do what's necessary to to build up your, your your mental, emotional, and physical health, and you'll be thankful for everything. How is y'all at? Oh, my right and body better, my right and body better fitness program. That's that's how we get that's how we get ourselves together. Also, to take the fall event is this Saturday, February twenty seventh. Make sure y'all come through. I give y'all the details later. Holla.